Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. Um, it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you just leave the rest of it aside. Um, if you do have any questions, you would like to contact me, please do so. You can find all of my information, list of readings, contact right below into the YouTube description box. So please do um, check it out. And if you do wish to contact me, please do so. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, um, I would like to say a big thanks to every single one of my subscribers. Thank you for being there. Um, I value every single one of you. Thank you so very much. I would also like to thank, and uh, not to thank, but to thank all of the beautiful subscribers who have so generously donated to the channel. Thank you so very much. Very grateful. Um, so let's begin this reading. Now these are messages, messages from spirit. So a lot of them might be warnings on different type of levels um, for you. So let's go and uh, see what they are. Take what's good for you. As usual, leave the rest aside. So let's reveal. We have the ego spirit followed by the electric eel spirit. I have the elephant spirit. I have the lion spirit and I also have a turkey spirit. So let's start this off over here with the eagle spirit. Now let me ask you, or let me let me say here, if you are walking awkwardly and maybe feeling a little bit embarrassed, is, could that be the time maybe perhaps, or it has happened not too long ago? Eagle spirit is here to tell you that is only because right now you're meant to fly. You're not meant to be where you are right now, kind of just, you know, walking awkwardly. You're meant to be soaring up into the sky. Soar over the troubles that you um, that have you feeling scared and alone. See the big picture, yet retain your eagle eyes for the details that help you claim your wisdom and your courage. Or perhaps you're making yourself small for the sake of getting others to accept you. Now is simply not the time to be vulnerable and dependent, for you have the wings to fly on your own and you need to do that at this very time. Now, there is no need, okay? There is no need whatsoever to uh, huddle into a shelter or even to seek out a flock to support you. Eagle Spirit says that you have that tremendous wisdom. You have that courage. And where is it? It's right there within. You need to go tap into it. Let it arise so that you might soar proudly with, you know, the angel serving as the wind beneath your wings. And from these heights, you're going to be able to make the very best and the very most powerful choices for the highest good of all. Now, the electric eel spirit, be, uh, bring your ideas to life here. So the electric seal, uh, not seal, but eel, is that about ideas. Ideals need to percolate as they kind of rarely download in detailed form, right? It's, we often have to work upon it. Have you too quickly dismissed an epiphany because you couldn't see where it just might lead you? Have you rushed to follow the muse without taking the time to contemplate the meaning of your aha type of a moment? Perhaps your dream is going to take a different form than you first imagined, morphing into something else that is simply even better. Now, spirits' plans, they're often hard to discern, but so much more satisfying once they have taken over from your own prede predetermination. So, maybe your big idea is taking more time to shape than you expected? Have you maybe considered that you're meant to learn something into the process of bringing it into the being, into the concrete, into the action right now. Commit to transformation and to learning any lessons that this new adventure is going to bring you. And soon you're going to see that your aha moment was even more valuable than you even realized that it could just, you know, as the eel could just kind of electrify you. So it's time to bring that moment, okay? It's time to bring your ideas to life. Learn from the past is what the elephant is speaking about here. Are you feeling maybe uncomfortable with a tradition, with a custom, any type of behavior that is no longer fitting who you are right now? Could that be a possibility? Do you wish that the past could be erased so it could no longer cause you a moment's pain? Now, spirit is here 
is here to encourage you. Encourage you for what? Encourage you to write. Encourage you to write a different story and to alter the, the traditions in ways that acknowledge that we're here to evolve to, for transformation and that is in our core nature. Spirit is calling you not only to be selective in your memory because ignoring the good or the bad is going to prevent you from growing through your wisdom and your strength. Build on the best of the past, learn from the worst and walk into the future with great dignity accompanied by elephant spirit who remembers the truth and honors your strength and your beautiful wisdom. Let's be generous of spirit, talking with this beautiful lion spirit. Now, the lion spirit is here to give you the message that um, maybe you feel like you're doubting yourself. Is that possible? Do you doubt that you can do much good? Do you think that whatever you do is never really all that good? Are you stuck in a state of scarcity thinking of who am I to lead or who am I to step into my dream or who am I to have that amazing relationship? Who am I to think that I can help? Spirit is here to tell you that the antidote for that low self-esteem is stepping into the healthy pride. And of course, now, you can do whatever it is that you desire. You can. The spark of the great spirit lives inside of you, and you are here to, um, to steward that amazing energy into the world. Lion spirit knows that great spirit has invested in you so that you might be a channel for spirit's love and generosity. Take pride in your role, seeking to bring abundance of love into your world. Perhaps you do much good already, but you're feeling unappreciated. You're wanting to hold back your gifts and to hoard them for yourself. Maybe you're looking for attention. Maybe you're looking for that praise. Maybe you were even being generous with the expectation that you would be entitled to maybe some form of repayment. Know that the real magic happens when you remember that there is always enough and you are always enough. Give freely, okay, without agenda um, or any a type of expectations. And the lion spirit is going to remind you that in giving, you receive. And then you're going to see that you're appreciated. Stop comparing yourself to others and seeing yourself as less than. For within you is just that wellspring there of um, generosity. And we're going to conclude this beautiful reading here with the turkey spirit. This is with giving gratitude and it's about giving with beautiful grace. Um, so the turkey spirit wants, to, um, wants you to know that if you're giving in order to receive in kind, you need to keep, you know, you, keeping tally over how much you give and what is owed to you. Is that what you're doing perhaps? Or do you do that every once in a while? This is just not the way to experience, you know, this type of abundance saying, I've given you that much. I'm going to keep a record of it. So you need to give me that much back. Um, when Turkey Spirit is a protection position here, it is a reminder to let go of any type of perception of scarcity or fear that if you give too much, you're not going to have enough for yourself. Use your spiritual practices to reconnect with spirit and to remember how it feels to embody that abundance. And you are going to give as much as needed right now. You have to know that whatever you need to fill your stores, okay, is coming to you right now. Love, prosperity, knowledge, assistance from allies who are everywhere around you and they want the same abundance that you have, but they want to share it with you. Spirit is here to tell you that everything evens out when you're aligned with the law of abundance as spirit wants you to be and abundance is truly going to be yours. And this, my dear friends, does complete your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that Spirit brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you have any questions, you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button and have yourself a beautiful day. I do thank you for being there and I will be seeing you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.